Hello and welcome to Cotter Epic. In this video, we are going to learn how we can generate patches from a grayscale image in Python. Using a patch based approach in image processing simply means that the image is divided into these small patches and each patch is then processed individually. After the processing steps, the final output is constructed out of the individually processed patches. So let's start programming and see how we can do that. You can see that I'm back to my spider editor of Python and I have already imported the important libraries that I'm going to use in this program. One of which is most commonly used is NumPy and to print the patches that we are going to generate in this video, I'm going to use matplot library and to read the image, I'm going to use OpenCV. In this video, because we are going to use a grayscale image without dealing with color channels, I can use OpenCV and to generate patches, I have used an image of a cat. So this is my input image in RGB color format. Next, I'm going to read this image as a grayscale image by using the I am read function of OpenCV. The first parameter of this function is my input image that holds complete path, including its name. And the second parameter I have passed is zero. By passing the zero, I'm going to convert this color image into grayscale image. Next, I'm going to run these lines. You can see in my variable explorer that I have successfully imported my input image in grayscale format. Width of this image is 640 and the height of this image is 427. Next, I have preserved its width and height into separate variables width and height. I'm going to use these variables to run the loops over rows and columns of my two dimensional input image. So the first loop will be iterating through the number of rows of input image therefore i have created a total range based on height divided by 32 by mentioning the double slices the output of this revision will be an integer instead of a float number by using the same approach i have created another for loop to iterate through number of columns and to do that i have created a range over variable width divided by 32 and for the purpose of visualization i am going to create a counter initialized with one and inside my inner loop i am going to print its information for the number of rows i am going to take iterator m multiplying it with 32 this is the starting index and to end it i am going to add another index that is started by adding 1 into m again multiplied by 32 i am going to do the same to index through number of columns using an iterator taking n as a starting index multiplying it with 32 and the last index will be n plus 1 multiplied by 32 so by this indexing through input image, I will have a cropped image of size 32 by 32 as a patch. Next, I am going to create an array so that I can append my every cropped image inside this array. Right after I crop my image and get a patch of size 32 by 32, I'm going to append this patch inside my patches array because I am printing the information for visualization purpose so that I can know the total number of patches generated over this dimension, which is 427 and 640. It is important to update this counter at the end of last line inside the inner loop. Next, I'm going to run these lines. You can see that the last iteration is 260, which means starting from 1, I have obtained 260 patches for this dimension 640 by 427 for a grayscale image. You can see that the format of my patches is list. I'm going to convert this list into numpy array by calling the numpy function as array. I have run this line and you can see that the format of my patches is now numpy array and its dimension is 260 so the total number of patches we have obtained is 260 and the dimension of each patch is 32 by 32. next i'm going to print the patches using the same approach that i have shown you in my previous videos first i have created my canvas using plt alias of matplot library and i have called the figure function and the size of each patch will be 4 by 4 next i am going to create a loop over my 256 
generated patches next using the subplot function i have created two dimensional grid and the input of each element inside this grid will be controlled by iterator i plus one next i'm going to show my plot using i am show function its first parameter will be my patch indexed by iterator i of this for loop and the color map is gray i do not want to print x or y axis information so i have kept the axis off so this is last instruction line inside my loop i have come out of my loop and i am going to save figure by calling the save fig function the first parameter is the name of my image in png format and the resolution is 600 after saving the image i am going to also show my image inside my plots tab i'm going to run these lines so in my plots tab you can see total number of patches of size 32 by 32 this is only for the visualization purpose that uh, i have created 16 by 16 grid to print my at most 256 patches so if i multiply 16 by 16 i have obtained the total number of 256 patches but through iteration you can see that the total number of patches are 260 so in the visualization i have discarded the last 10 patches and it is not a problem it is just for only visualization but of course for pre-processing in any program you will be using the entire 260 patches this is it for this video thank you for watching i hope you find it helpful if you did do like and share also subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video if you have any suggestions leave them in comments section i will do consider it thank you